Hi, I'm Marites Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. In this video, I will share to you how to add similar fractions. But before that, we must know first the meaning of fraction. Fraction means a part of a whole, like one-fourth, two-thirds, three-fifths. Those are fractions. I'm Marites Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. In this video, I will share to you how to add similar fractions. But before that, we must know first the meaning of fraction. Fraction means a part of a whole. Like one-fourth, two-thirds, three-fifths, those are fractions. And when we say similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominators. Now, I will show to you how to add similar fractions through examples. Okay, first example, 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. These fractions are similar fractions because the denominators are the same. So, how to add similar fractions? It is easy. Just add the numerators and copy the common denominators. We will add the numerators and we will copy the common denominator which is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4 and common denominator is 4. The answer is 4 fourths. 4 fourths is an example of improper fraction because the numerator and the denominator are equal. Since improper fraction is a fraction with a numerator greater than a denominator or a numerator is equal to the denominator. One thing you must remember in solving fractions is that you need to express the answer in lowest term always. You need to reduce the answer to lowest term or simplify the answer. The answer 4 fourths is an improper fraction. So we need to simplify this. How are we going to simplify this? We will just divide the numerator by the denominator. So 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Therefore, 3 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 1. Always reduce the answer to lowest term or simplify the answer in solving fractions. It is very easy to add fractions if you know addition of whole numbers and if you know how to simplify fractions. Okay, let's have another example. Like 3 tenths plus 5 tenths. Okay. Okay, the rule is add the numerators and copy the common denominator. 3 plus 5 equals 8 and common denominator is 10. We will just copy 10. So, the answer is 8 tenths. 8 tenths is a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction with a numerator less than the denominator. 8 is less than 10. Proper fraction. Then, the next step is to reduce the answer to lowest term. Since it is proper fraction, we will just get the GCF, greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator, and we will divide them by their GCF. The GCF of 8 and 10 is 2. So we are going to divide this by 2 equals 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Then the answer for 3 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 
four fifths. This is the final answer. It is in lowest form. Because the rule is, we must always express the answer in lowest term. Next example. Okay. Five sixths plus two sixths equals. Add the numerators. Five plus two equals seven. Copy the common denominator. Six. The answer is seven sixths. Seven sixths. The numerator is greater than the denominator. It is an improper fraction. We need to simplify this answer. And to simplify this, we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, let us answer. 7 divided by 6, like this. 7 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 6 equals 6. And 7 minus 6 equals 1. The quotient is 1. The quotient will be the whole number. And the remainder is the numerator and the divisor is the denominator. The answer is 1 and 1 sixth. Mixed number. This is a mixed number. Whole number and a fraction. Remember, the quotient must be the whole number. And the remainder is the numerator. This one is the denominator. It is the proper arrangement of the numbers. The quotient is a whole number. Let's have another one. Seven fifteenths plus ten fifteenths plus twelve fifteenths. Add the numerators, 7 plus 10, 17, plus 12 is 29. Then copy the common denominator, 15. Since it is an improper fraction, we need to simplify this. To simplify, divide. Divide the numerator by the denominator. 29 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 15 is 15. Then subtract. The answer is 14. The remainder is 14. So the answer is 1 and 14 fifteenths. This is the final answer for this problem. Quotient, whole number, remainder, numerator, divisor, the denominator. This is the proper arrangement of the numbers when we simplify improper fraction. Last example. Very easy. Add the numerators. 2 plus 1 plus 3 equals 6. Copy the common denominator, 9. The answer is 6 ninths. 6 and 9 have common factor. So we will reduce this to lowest term. Just divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. Let's divide 6 and 9 by their GCF, which is 3. It works. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The answer is 2 thirds. Okay. So, so it is very easy to add similar fractions. Just add the numerators and copy the common denominator. And then express your answer in lowest term. To reduce answer in lowest term, divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF if a fraction is proper fraction. If the answer is 
improper fraction, simplify the answer by dividing the numerator by the denominator. I have here a problem for you to solve. 4 twentieths plus 9 twentieths plus 11 twentieths equals blank. So just write your answer in the comment box below. And I will reply to your answer. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to continue learning, just subscribe in our channel and click the notification bell for you to be updated of our next video. Thank you so much again. See you next time and God bless.